Mr. Malik, it's a pleasure to have you with us. I know it's been a busy time. You'll operate one of India's largest waste to energy plants in Delhi. Uh, what is your opinion on waste to energy as being the need of the hour? We are a country which is currently at the lower end of the per capita waste generation. Hmm. Uh, and as the population grows, as per capita waste generation grows together with you know, economic development or or uh, rise in income levels, uh, we are looking at ever larger quantities of waste to deal with. Mm. But what is constant, what is finite is the amount of land that we have. Yeah. And therefore, this current practice of waste to landfill, this is absolutely not sustainable in this country. Correct. We have so, so very precious acres uh, uh, and areas of, of land are being consumed today by this waste and the mountains that we keep hearing about and keep seeing uh, will continue to grow till the time we find solutions that will recover as much as possible of recoverable value from th these wastes either by way of uh, recycling which I think is reasonably efficient both using the formal and the informal uh, sort of collections uh, systems that exist in India. But what do you do with the rest? Mm. And I think that is really where uh, waste to energy comes in. It is the, the last mile in terms of resource recovery. But the other, the other aspect, so it's not just the fact that you're getting a, a, a clean energy from, from, from waste. The fact that you take a quantity of waste and reduce it mm. to a much lower volume and, 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 and in a form that, that uh, occupies much less land and that too, it, there's potential to recover and uh, re, uh, recycle it ever more. I think it is for the, those set of reasons why waste to energy is so critical for India's future. So could you tell us a bit more about Ramkey's waste to energy projects in India? You'll have one in Delhi, that's functional. What about your other projects? Yeah, so we have... Uh, we are about to commission our second uh, plant, which is ready here in Hyderabad. Uh, this will be uh, uh, approximately 20 megawatts uh, in, in, in capacity. Uh, we have three other waste to energy projects um, in development uh, in this part of the world itself, around in and around Hyderabad. In addition to that, uh, we have projects in development in uh, central India. Uh, Northern India and one location in Eastern India. So, so together uh, we are in the process of developing about 150 megawatts of installed capacity in waste energy immediately. And we have a very clear vision uh, uh, and plans of taking it to 400, 500 megawatts uh, in the next four to five years. In fact, in January, Ramki had announced very ambitious plans to triple its revenue over the next three years through new projects, through global expansion. What do you see changing for Ramki in the near future? Yes, there were challenges and there are challenges around business continuity. Uh, we remain very vigilant about uh, the health, safety and well-being of our own workforce. But I believe that, that uh, the corona issue has been, like it has been a seminal event for our times, it is a, a, a seminal chapter in our own evolution, in our own journey as an organization as well. One, we think it brings the whole sustainability debate to the forefront in a manner that has never come before. Yeah. Uh, and as an environmental company, as a company that started 25 years ago, exactly with this intent and, and, and vision, um, it's about time. It's about time that this that 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 we take this issue uh, and give it the importance that it deserves. That's that's our that's our first um, observation on this issue. The second is that whilst there would be a lot of challenges, uh, the fact that we have to continue operating and the fact that we have to keep managing as an essential service all the waste that our clients, our communities, our uh, catchments generate uh, is an absolute given for us. Mm. And that imperative, more than the commercial realities and the impacts, is what is driving us today.
this is not the time to really look at commercial interest. The, the, the time to ensure that will come. Today, we have to respond. And that's exactly what we have been doing. Um, finally, the longer term response to a post COVID world, I think that sanitation, waste management, uh, recycling, resource recovery, the concept of circular economy, uh, and, and in general, uh, being more conscious of our waste footprint, water footprint, carbon footprint uh, is, is, is the future. Mm. So if that is the future, then, then, then we actually look forward to it. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Malik, for taking the time out to talk to us. It's been a pleasure. You always have so many insights and all the very best with uh, your work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, stay safe. You too.